in a previous sales role for 12 straight months, Monday through Friday, every workday, I made 150 cold calls on average per day. That's a ton, a ton of cold calling. The number one tip I could give you guys from that experience making that many cold calls every day, working day, Monday through Friday for 12 straight months, is you have to expect that every cold call you make will get answered. Here's why that's important. 80% of the calls you make, probably north of 80% at this point, 80% of the calls you make are going to go to voicemail. They're not going to get picked up. You're not going to have a conversation with the prospect. When you're making that many calls, it's easy to get into a rhythm and just go through the motions and say, hey, the last 30 calls I made didn't get picked up. And because of that, this call I'm about to make right now, it's probably going to go to voicemail. I'm probably not going to talk to this prospect. And when that prospect picks the phone up, you're going to be surprised. You're going to be caught off guard. And that is going to impact the tonality of that call. You're not going to kick that call off strong. It's going to come off weak because you're surprised and your tonality is not where it needs to be when that prospect picks up the phone. Trust me, I know how hard it is to be an SDR and the majority of your day is spent cold calling, leaving voicemails. But when you stay locked in, when you stay locked in for those cold calls and that prospect picks the phone up, you're going to be ready and your tonality is going to be on point. You're going to kick that call off the right way. You will not kick it off the right way if you're surprised and caught off guard. That will impact your chances of having a good conversation and booking a meeting. How do you stay locked in as an SDR when the majority of your day is picking the phone up? You have to time block. You have to do your calls in batches. So what I used to do when I was an SDR, I'm an AE now, but when I was an SDR and my job was to cold call, I would make 20 calls in batches. So I would do 20 calls. Once I'm done those 20 calls, and when I'm doing those 20 calls, guys, that is the only thing I'm doing. I'm not responding to emails. I'm not looking at Slack. I'm not on ESPN. The only thing I'm focused on are those 20 calls. When those 20 calls are done, I'm taking a step back. I'm taking a break for 30 minutes to an hour, and I'm focusing on another activity. Maybe I'm on ESPN, and I'm taking a break. Maybe I'm eating a snack. Maybe I'm sending emails, but I'm not making cold calls. You have to time block, do your calls in batches. You cannot sit down. Realistically, you can't do this, and I've done this in the past. You cannot sit down if you have 150 calls you have to make that day, which is a lot, and make them in one shoot because you're not going to be locked in. It's going to become monotonous. You're going to get into a rhythm that every one of these calls is going to voicemail, and boom, that prospect picks up, and you were caught off guard, surprised, and your tonality was not on point. Time blocking and making sure when you pick that phone up to make the call, you expect, you expect that prospect to pick up. It's going to make sure you're locked in and you're going to have a really good conversation with that prospect. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, guys. Check out this video right here on 10 words and phrases you need to eliminate when you're cold calling prospects. And shout out to all the SDRs out there. SDRs, you have by far, by far the hardest job in all of sales mentally. If you could get good at this, you're going to kill your AE role and make a ton of money. Thanks for watching, guys. We appreciate you.